Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to my Feed the Beast Ultimate Test World, where I try out different uh, machines and make several tutorials. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to conserve fuel by setting up an on-off switch for your engines, for MJ engines. And in this example, I have a series of biofuel engines set up and connected to a redstone energy cell. And we're going to use the redstone energy cell to store Minecraft jewels, MJs. So here I have a redstone energy cell set up to store the Minecraft jewels that are going to be processed by the, or produced by these engines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a way for you to uh, automatically turn on and off these engines in order to conserve fuel. And as you can tell, we have quite a bit of lava here, but very little actual fuel to run these engines. So we're not going to be able to run them continuously forever. And if you did, this cell would fill up to 600,000. MJs and then the run engines would continue to run consuming fuel they they're not smart enough to shut themselves off so what we have to do is we have to set up some kind of switch and once the redstone energy cell is in place what we need to do is we need to set up some sort of way to sense whether it is full or whether it is empty so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use these build craft conductive pipes yeah I'm going to use these buildcraft conductive pipes to detect whether it's full or empty so well here's how to do it <laughs> here's how we go place one on this side and then you use an autarkic gate and the autarkic gate is going to emit a redstone signal when the cell is in a certain state so let's go ahead and set this one up to detect whether it is full or not. No energy, energy stored, can store full energy. So when it's at full energy, we're going to emit a redstone signal. And we're going to set up this one over here to detect whether it has no energy. So we're going to use the two states of the cell, full and empty, to control these engines. When it's full, it will emit a redstone pulse and will shut off the engines. And then the cell will continue to drain, emitting another pulse when it's empty, turning the engines back off. And we're going to use something from Red Power, I believe, called an RS Norlatch. So let me explain how to set that up. Okay, due to the nature of the RS Norlatch, we're going to have to set this up fairly carefully. Um, where is our energy coming from now? I believe it's coming from that side. So if we were to switch it, we need to switch it from that side. And then that side. So, actually, oops, put that in there. Let's, so, we want to have this signal coming in. underneath and we can run it down the wall like this yeah I do like this wire so we want to have that signal going into this side and the other signal coming in this other side. So let's see if that's right. No. Okay, it needs to go in this one. Did 
This is strange. I don't understand why this doesn't work half the time. Okay. All right, I was right the first time. So it goes in this way. And then we run we need to run the wire over here and connect it to our engines. And as soon as we connect this, it should start processing the There it goes. Yeah, it's start to light up. So we need to connect all of these. And how do I want to run this over? Since we can run this up the side of the wall, let's try running it this way. And up and over, and down, back around, and we turn on all of our engines. And there they go. All the engines are coming on. Let's see how our MJ is filling up. So what should happen is that once this fills up, it should activate this line and flip the RS NOR latch to turn this line off, which should deactivate all of our engines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit back and wait until the Redstone Energy Cell is almost full. And through the magic of editing, we will fast forward into the future. Okay, that was a crazy fast forward, and it looks like our redstone energy cell is almost filled up. So let's give it a couple of seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine. And we will step back and watch and see what happens. Any second now, and there. The energy cell filled up, turned on the gate, which says energy full, switched the RS NOR latch, and turned off our engines. So this way, if you have this kind of a setup, you can use this to store your, M your MJ until it's needed, and when the energy cell is full, it turns off your engines, conserving your fuel, especially if you have uh, um, a limited supply. Uh, lava is fairly unlimited, uh, especially if you're in a single player world. So, one more thing. So what happens when you start to drain the energy out of the cell? Well, let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Uh, let's max this out. And let's go ahead and stick another energy cell. We're going to transfer MJ from this cell to another cell. And we shall see what happens. The energy cell is no longer full, but the RLS, RS NOR latch remains in this position which keeps our engines shut off. So what should happen is once the energy cell is completely drained the engines should turn themselves back on. 
So, this makes for a pretty effective on-off switch overall, and I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a good night, and bye-bye.